Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. A little while ago I mentioned on uh, my channel here that I had got hold of a really good bargain in the Riverland of South Australia of a uh, Konica Auto Reflex TC 35mm film camera with a, a pancake 40mm lens and also a telephoto lens that went with it. Not a Konica one but one dedicated to the Konica. Well one of my problems with shooting all my film cameras is that I tend to accumulate um, stacks and stacks of exposed films and then after about 12 months I might get them to the film lab. Well the other day I took 25 rolls or more I think to the film lab that I've used for many years and I got them processed but not scanned. I've been doing some of that myself the last couple of days on my Epson V700 scanner. and. Um, on here are some shots that I've got back from my Konica Reflex Auto Reflex TC and also on my Pentax Super Program and I think there's some shots I've got on my Pentax KX so soon I'll, I'll do a little bit of a um, another review I've done a review of the KX to a certain extent before and uh, the Super Program before but I'll, I'll do another review on those cameras the super program of course is the super is the super a as well it's also known as the pentax super a so i'll be doing some other videos later on and just showing you some of the results that i've found on, on these um, uh, negatives uh, that i had processed one of the problems i found when i um, put them through my scanner is that I, there's either a problem with the fact that um, i've got uh, some uh, the, the camera needs cleaning because there seem to be some marks on some of the shots. I've looked at some of them with a magnifying glass and can't really determine uh, too much from that. And uh, But also my scanner might need a clean. Now, I doubt whether the, um, the processing at the, the, the film label I go to, I don't think they would have made any mistakes. Anyway, some of the photos I've touched up a little bit to get rid of some of the marks and squiggles on them. But you'll get a good, bit of an idea of what the cameras do. So... So this is a, um, there it is, that's the Konica Auto Reflex TC. It's a beautiful compact little camera. There's some other reviews that people have written about on them. I'll put a link underneath um, of this uh, video for you to have a look at. Um, so what can I tell you about it? Okay, it's got um, shutter speeds from B to 1000. There, you might be able to see that okay. Over here it's got a PC socket so you can plug an external flash and you've also got your standard hot shoe type of thing which was common in the day back there. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It takes um, two batteries. I'll put the, the batteries that um, it takes down on the, uh, the bottom underneath this video uh, in the notes and you can shoot it without batteries. The reason for the batteries is for the light meter only. This is a shutter priority um, camera. In other words, if you set your shutter speed and you set this lens here, you can see over here there's an AE sec session, section just there on the, on the barrel there. See that, uh, I think it's a green little AE there. I don't know whether you can read that upside down or whatever. But anyway, that's where... Um, uh, you set that on there and then you set your shutter speed and then it automatically selects the aperture. The aperture range is from um, 1.8 to f1.8 to f22. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 stops you can have. Um, you actually do have a, an old-fashioned depth of field scale on here as well. So you can judge the distance. But you've got split image, split image focusing in here. And I can be looking at that there, and I can tell at this distance here, I am um, <coughs> quite clearly um, in focus. So I'm not very far. That's a distance of about 18 inches, I suppose. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. And that's still in focus there. So um, this is the, the 40 millimeter pancake 1.8 lens, which is highly sought after. This came with the camera. And I got that lens for eight dollars, and the camera and this other telephoto lens, which is a um, what brand is this one? This is a Tokina, two hundred millimeter f 
3.5 lens. It's got a built-in lens hood. And I've read the reviews of this. I've got one shot I think I've taken with it, but that fits on, on here as well. And uh, that's a nice lens. And that's about all I got for it. It's got a little um, window on the back that had was coming off on the back here, so I took it off and fixed it on again. So normally that would be in the middle of that little uh, bracket there to hold your uh, film type. The film that I shot on this, I wrote down, was 200 ISO color negative film. Now the tricky part with this little thing here, the metering, you have to, um, to activate the meter, you have to pull this lever back here, like that. See that lever? And there's a little button that locks it. When you lock, lock it, see that little button back there? Somewhere there. That locks it, and then that stops the um, uh, batteries from drying out, from uh, uh, getting used up. And uh, I think, unfortunately, I might not have done that the last time I used this, and uh, I've got to put some new batteries in it. Uh, so the batteries aren't registering at the moment. In the viewfinder, it, it tells you, uh, you'll see some reviews that I'll put there anyway. It tells you what you see in the actual viewfinder. Uh, it will tell you whether you uh, can take a photo or not by the top right hand corner. A uh, little red section there, a little needle goes up and down. And um, But the beauty of this is that, uh, and it's got all your, your f-stops in the side, side of the... Um, the photo there, of the side of the viewfinder, inside the viewfinder. And um, the beauty of this camera is though that you can shoot it manually even without batteries. Um, I, When I used this, I was actually using the little built-in light meter in my uh, iPhone. And I was also using the Sunny 16 rule just to guess the exposures. So you can totally set this manually and uh, use the camera beautifully. It's a very small little compact camera. It feels beautiful. I really enjoyed using it the day I took these photos that you're going to see and uh, in fact we're going away again next weekend for a short trip and I think I'll take it again with me and do some more shots because it's a really nice filling little camera and uh, it's plastic but it's um, it's uh, solidly built it feels quite well made and solid but as I said this here you can't actually take a photo unless you've got that lever cocked out there so that cocks it so if I was to shut that I can't take a photo but if I pull it out then I can see there you go so there you go it's the Konica Auto Reflex TC there was a number of versions of this this was the cheaper uh, one version I think but many people say it's probably one of the best ones it's on uncomplicated little camera and um, so I'll add these photos I'll put a little slideshow of some of the shots I've taken with this and you can have a look and see what you think. And, and I'll put some links underneath that you can explore with as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Like if you like and subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you next time.